Good morning. Day one in the Everglades of my South Florida trip. And I got here last night, stayed at a place in Everglades City. And I was trying to say, how do I want to start out my Everglades fishing this trip? And I can't think of a more fun way to start out. Just, I'm going to throw the Nico Helga around. I got a few different colors in there to catch whatever I can catch. Because I know it catches so many different fish. I'm going to stop at a few places through here, try to find some places that fish are hitting. Not sure. I'm not really going for a certain fish. I'm just trying to catch stuff. I want to catch some different things. Uh, I'm going to rig it up the same way I bass fish it. And we're going to see what all we can get. Um, I know it catches, and I know it works, and it's fun to use. Hold on a second. We're almost ready. Mmm. Now, let's get to it. Oh, I see fish. I see fish. Stop that. There's a bunch of fish over there. Right, let me lay this down. Don't know what they are. Hopefully, there's some something that's going to hit this lure. Dude, they're going at Yes, 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 we're on. We are on. Oh my, this is it. This is the spot. We're gonna set up shop for here and we're gonna catch some fish. Look at that. Look at these aquarium fish. And there's gonna be fish everywhere. This is a cichlid, not sure which kind. There's a bunch of fish over there. That's awesome. As you can see, I just I saw a spot, pulled over. I passed tons of places, but I saw another one that I was like, that looks a little more interesting. And there's just, I think those are all cichlids. I saw a gar, uh, right there's a gar. I uh, don't know what else is in there. And there's a spot over there where it goes under the bridge where we're gonna fish too. Oh man. Look right in front of me. I just looked down. Look at this. Look at that. Look at all the fish that are in there. You find that right spot and there is so many fish. Not sure if there's peacock bass in this spot. I'm getting closer to their area though. I think those are, there's one, there's one. Got him. Oh, I hit him in the head. Now there's still these things, which are so colorful. Right, I think the bigger ones are over on that side. Let's throw it back over there. They all swarm at it uh, and like take a nibble at it and like spit it out. God. <laughs> Just gotta get one and take its whole mouth. This is wild. It's so fun. Ouch. These are small fish that are in these kind of areas. Oh, I see a, I see a bass over there, I think. Oh. Oh, no. I got the tree. I'll just put that hook on there. Oh, there's one. I'll let it hit the bottom and then take it. This thing's got a couple little teeth on there. Well, he's going back in there. Oh, that's good. Hey. I think that's an Oscar. Oh yes. Oh my, look at the, this thing. Oh, the colors on this one's insane. Look at the spots on that. I don't think it's showing up on the camera that well. This thing's an absolute beast. Well, now it's all dirty, but man, that thing's a giant. Goodness. Oh, there's some. What we got there? Ah, man, these things are strong. Oh, it's just a largemouth. Just a largemouth. Nice one, though. I'm pretty sure I saw a peacock bass in here. So, um, we're gonna... This canal is doing really good.
another one of these guys. Which, most of fish in here in the cichlid family, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if these are my, oh wait. I forgot, I, I used to know what they were, but. I saw a big one earlier. I've seen, oh, there's another one right there. There's two gators out there. Hammer it. Boom, just walk in the bank. Trucks going by everywhere. Hey, that one holds still for just a little bit. It's so hard. I want to get really good views of these things, and it's almost impossible. It's like a real slow still shot. Let's go to this. Uh, maybe I won't get a peacock bass here. I'm going to have to go keep on going east. Oh, I see Oscar. Come on. Come on, Oscar. Got him. Oh, no, it's not Oscar. Is it? Ah! Yes, it is. Yes, yes. It is an Oscar. They have got a lot of spots on them. I've never seen them this many spots. I'll steal. And turn sideways so you can look on the camera. See these fish that just won't cooperate. You try to make fishing videos and the fish won't do what you want to do. Oh, what is that? What is that? No, he got me in the weeds. Get out of there. Is it an Oscar? Yeah. Oh, I just thumped. Oh man, that's a big one. Not as big as that first one. That first one I caught was a giant. Look at that. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness. Look how thick they are. Me. Oh god. Good <laughs> doing this barrel roll. Oh, looked it in the head. I saw little ones pecking at it. Just think how many fish are out there. I'm catching these and I'm only catching, of all the fish, I'm, there's a pe couple little peacock bass there. All the fish I see, there's, or every fish I catch, there's a hundred more. Just think of all the fish out there. Waiting to get caught. All right, this, this one is not a real aggressive area for the peacock bass. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. I got one. I don't think it's showing up that great. This is a little one. Not a real big one. First one today. Yes, yeah, yeah, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, oh, it was so close. It was right there. There was a bunch of them looking at it. You gotta get them to just commit to it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I had to speed it up right past his face. There's a couple of them. That was a little bit prettier. These are just the small ones, but man, it's fun to catch them. Oh, boy, boy. Look how strong they are. Oh, I don't have a picture of this one. Look at the tails. Just all the colors on them. Back it goes. <laughs> that was cool. I watched this guy eat it off the bottom. I was just dragging it across. He finally bit it and just kept on like biting on it. Ow! Hold steel. Oh, that's an Oscar. I didn't. I thought that was a not an Oscar. Would you hold still for a picture, for a video, anything? Goodbye, my slimy friend. Yeah, you want it. You want it. Come on. Come on back for it. I'll slow it down for you. There he is. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Get it all the way in your mouth. Got it. <laughs> yeah, these guys are uh, taking it off the bottom. 
Oh, that's a cichlid. Whatever that one is. So the Oscars and these are eating it the same. The peacocks want it moving. They won't hit it slow. Come on. Yeah. I had a oh, it's a good one. I had to twitch it from its face. Oh, it's a big Oscar. Yeah, these dudes are like bluegill on steroids. See how they don't stop kicking? Well, they don't stop fighting. When they fight, they just dig. You have, n I mean, if, you, if I wasn't seeing it, I would be like, what in the world do I have? Look how big this thing is in my hand. Look at the beast. And back in, slam your hands. Yeah, I'll take that guy. Oh, wow. Maybe he'll take me. Got me in the weeds. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Oscar. Let's do it. Up there in a gator coming up behind me. Talk about some awesome catches in an hour of fishing. I went to uh, one bridge back there and it was like nothing happening. I drove probably 10 or 15 miles down going east towards Miami area on the Tamiami Canal. Come to my second area, right away I see fish and there's like just so much going on. This place is loaded with different fish and there's so many fish in here but that, that you know couldn't get to bite. There was groups of like 20 and 30 of those cichlids and Oscars everywhere. There was largemouth bass cruising through, peacock bass coming through, just so much going on. I fish today like I would bass fish pretty much. This is a seven foot medium rod. I got 15 pound braid, 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And uh, with the Nico Helgramite rig the same way on the um, Z-Man bullet Z-hook, way I would normally do it. Got my drag set a little bit extra tight just for in here. A medium heavy wouldn't be bad, but I like the medium. It felt the, it was fun to play it on this rod, but you wouldn't have enough strength to get these fish out of there because they will dig in that stuff and, and it's a pain to get them out. And if I caught a really big peacock bass, he could have really wrapped me up. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope everyone gets a chance to ever to come down here and do this. You just kind of, uh, I don't know, you got to figure it out a little bit. Once you do, you can just catch a bunch of fish and it's a blast. This is my first video in the Everglades of this trip. I was glad to get it started off with the Helgramite, one of the lures I, when I first came down here. And the first time I came here, Miguel uh, she came, brought me down to the Everglades area, just like a couple of these spots. And I was like, I know, I knew right then, this is this place, I have to be back every year. And um, there's just so much to go on here. This was an hour, hour and a half of fishing, just traveling, and, and it was a blast. Thanks for watching.